Hi guys, okay, so I'm doing my first Q&A video. Not really sure how to start this off, but let's just get started. Okay, a skinny school year asked, would you rather go to the gym in the morning or the afternoon? I don't go to the gym, but when I start going again, which will hopefully be pretty soon, I think it'd be the afternoon because I need my mornings to like regroup and I don't know, plan the day I guess. Um, she will be loved 222 asked, favorite hairdo and makeup look for every day? Usually I just keep my hair down and I don't do anything to it or I'll put it up in like a top knot. But that's only when I want to get like fancy. <laughs> um, I don't really straighten or curl my hair because my hair is super damaged. So doing that makes it look like a fried mess. So yeah, I just leave it down most of the time. My favorite makeup look. I don't usually wear makeup either, but I don't know, just like simple I guess. Sometimes I do like a cat eye with like liquid eyeliner. Um, I'm wearing lip gloss right now, but that's weird because I like never do. But I don't know, I'm boring, I just don't really do anything. So yeah. <laughs> um, the kid with scars asked, do you want to have children one day? I know that I want to adopt, but I don't, I don't know if I want to have my own kids. I don't know. And if I do, it's not going to be till like I'm older because I want to fully live my life before, I don't know, being in charge of another person's life, I guess. I don't know. That sounds kind of weird, but yeah. Trying to find balance asked, how do you think your view of people, societies, magazines, etc. portrayal on girls and their bodies has changed from before your eating disorder to now? Um, well, the media didn't really play a big part in my, like, eating disorder, I guess, but I do wish that there was more body acceptance out in, you know, society because I don't know, there is no such thing as a perfect body and somebody's always got something bad to say about anyone so I just wish people were more accepting I, I guess but I don't really know I don't think I really thought about it before my eating disorder but now I notice it like I just wish it was more integrated I wish all body shapes were represented did that make sense I don't know Okay. How did you get, Anonymous asked, how did you get to the point you are at with yoga? Do you have any good resources for us? Really, it was just practice. Um, like three years ago, I took two months of classes at a local gym, and then I quit after that, and then I got back into it like four months ago on my own. Um, the way I've been doing that is with yogajournal.com. That's an awesome that's an awesome resource. Um, they break it down like a bunch of poses, you know, step by step, and they categorize them. And it's just, it's a really good website. And then sometimes I do Esther Eckhart's yogurt, yogurt video. I said yogurt, <laughs> yoga videos on YouTube. Um, her channel's called Yogatic or Yogatic. I'm not really sure how to say it, but it's Y O G A T I C. Uh, I like Tara Styles a lot too. She has a video channel on YouTube. Um, Yoga Works has great DVDs. Uh, Jessie Shine is one of their instructors, and I'm, like, a little obsessed with her. So, yeah. Anonymous asked, what are some yoga moves to make your legs more flexible? Like, hard ones because some of them are too easy. Um... Extended hand to big toe pose is a good one. Dancer, Lord of the Dance, and Dancer Splits are good ones. Monkey pose. 
Ekapada Sursasana, which is when one leg is behind your head, and then Dwipada Sursasana, which is when both legs are behind your, behind your head, are good. And then Sleeping Yogi Pose, um, Bird of Paradise Pose, uh, Wide Legged Forward Fold. Those are some good ones. I can't really think right now, but yeah, those are good ones. Um, she who is not asked a bunch of questions. Uh, one of them is, what is one non-physical thing that you love about yourself? I think I'm hilarious. So probably my sense of humor. That sounds arrogant, but it's true. I think I make myself laugh all the time. <laughs> um, who is your favorite Disney princess? Mulan, hands down. Mulan ruled. Um, what is your favorite book? That's probably a tie between The Great Gatsby and Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. It's a really good, I don't even know why I like that book so much, but I really, really like it. And do you like theater? I really appreciate theater, and I used to be really big on it, and I used to, you know, like, be in local theater and stuff, but I'm not really anymore, but I like, I love a good play and musical. I'm just not really involved in it anymore, but I definitely respect people in theater and playwrights and all that good stuff. Um, Anonymous asked, were you ever impatient? No. I was not. I've done outpatient twice, and then I had a treatment team outside of the hospital once. So, no impatient. I'm just, I don't know, I found that I'm a lot better at recovering on my own. It's different with everybody, but I don't know, that's how it's worked for me. Um, Yoga and Peace of Mind, Anna, asked, what's your favorite tea? It's a tie between chamomile citrus and raspberry hibiscus. I love both of them. Hi, Anna. <laughs> um, Liz the Sarcastic asked, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I don't really have a favorite flavor of ice cream because I don't eat ice cream very much. Um, but my favorite flavor of frozen Greek yogurt is raspberry chocolate chunk. Really holds a soft spot in my heart. <laughs> um, Life Struggles asked, what's your favorite food? Probably sushi, more specifically eel. Yeah, I like a lot of food, but that's something that I'm always in the mood for. Underage Bohemian asked, do you ever get really bloated after eating and does it put you off recovery and everything? Yes, I do. I look five months pregnant after I eat almost anything. Um, it's kind of triggering, but I just tell myself that it'll stop in a couple hours and if I keep eating healthily, then it'll, you know, it'll stop happening so much. Anonymous asked, will you do a bracelet giveaway? I'm doing one right now. Um, if you go to my link that says my recipes and informational posts and whatever, I think if you go through a couple pages of that, you'll see it. Um, will you tell your eating disorder bio? It's really long, and if you go to my pictures of me link you can read the whole thing but basically I've always had disordered behaviors but it took a turn for the worst when I was 12 and my parents got separated and I was alone a lot and I didn't really feel like I was in control of anything so eating became the only thing that I could control and like I used it as a form of self-harm like I could punish myself by not eating you know um I went to treatment when I was 13 I went to outpatient restored some weight dropped out of treatment I was fine until freshman year of high school I was dealing with a lot of social issues I've never really had friends so in high school, it's just a completely different ball game. You know, people are a lot less inhibited with their feelings about you in high school. So I took it out on myself again. 
and I went to, back to treatment at the hospital, outpatient. Restored weight again, not even a lot of weight though. I dropped out of treatment. Um, and then I was good again until I dropped out of high school last summer because of just people being really mean, I guess. That's a short way to put it. Um, and yeah, I it was the worst relapse I'd had. I got down to my lowest weight. Like, begged desperately for help, but we couldn't really afford it. So all I got was a therapist who did nothing. So I dropped out, or dropped out, but I stopped going to her, and I've been recovering on my own ever since, and that's a really short, condensed version of it, but if you want to read the whole thing, go to my pictures tag, and a couple pages back, it should be in there. Um, Anonymous asked, what are your stats? I am five, six and a half. I don't really want to say my current weight, but you can ask me off and on, and I'll tell you. Um, my lowest weight is 97 pounds, and my highest weight is about... 115 and my goal weight is around 115 too but I don't really have a strict goal weight it's just whenever I feel healthy and comfortable anonymous asked will you do a tutorial on how to do an inverted scorpion um I think you mean inverted locust scorpion but yeah I can do that um after I make this video that'd be fun to do sure Anonymous asked does Nick know about your blog if not why he does and he reads it sometimes um, but I wanted him to know because I say a lot of things on here that I'm not comfortable saying out loud, so, I don't know, it, it's like a different form of communication for us, I guess. So, Anonymous asked, what are some awesome beginner yoga poses? Downward dog, um... Warrior one and two, forward fold, Tadasana or mountain pose. Um, crescent pose. Any po any pose that's in uh, a sun salutation A or B is good. I can't really think right now. Child's pose. Um, I'm sorry I keep making that sound. I've noticed that I keep doing that. I'm sorry. Yeah, those are some good ones to start with. If you look on Yoga Journal, they'll have some good beginner poses. So, the ones that I didn't mention. I'm bad at thinking on the spot. I'm sorry. Um, how long did it take people to realize you had an eating disorder? Well, way sooner than it took me to realize it. <laughs> um, I don't know, a couple months. I was put into treatment when I was 12, a couple months after I started severely restricting. And the other times, it wasn't other people, it was me who decided to go to treatment. But last summer, people started realizing that I was losing a lot of weight after, again, like a couple months that after I relapsed. Um, did you have any friends that stuck with you through eating your eating disorder and recovery? Nick, I guess, he's been, he's the only person who has been there consistently for the past four and a half years, which is when it all started. Um, five years, whatever. So he's the only person that's consistently been there, but all the friends that I thought that I had have all left during the course of one of my relapses. But um, right before I started recovery this summer, two girls came into my life named Wendy and Lexi, and they're like the best thing that's ever happened to me, and they've been there since ever since I, you know, ever since we started being friends, and they're awesome. Like, they've been really, really supportive, and I couldn't ask for better friends than them. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope I answered your questions well enough. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks.